Welcome to Lasea class. I am your teacher, Jan Lasea. Today I will show to you my simple project, Robot Arm. The robot arm has six servos and therefore it has six degrees of freedom. I am interested how robot arm works and that is why I bought this robot arm kit from an online store. I enjoyed assembling the robot arm by following the pictures provided even though it has a Chinese language written on it because I gain experiences in assembling and putting up the parts. The biggest interest that caught me from the start is that it is programmable. I wrote the codes through trial and error plus my own algorithms. The materials needed to build this simple project are Robot Arm Kit Arduino Mega 2560 Microcontroller Small Breadboard AC to 5 volts DC 1 Ampere Adapter Plug DC Female Power Jack Jumper Wires USB Cable for Arduino Uno and Arduino CC++ Integrated Development Environment. The parts of robot arm. The hip of the robot is as, is as its base and it is the joint where the rest of the robot revolves around. Just like how the upper body of a person rotates around the hip. Located above the hip is the shoulder joint which connects the hip to the upper arm. The elbow joint is located at the other end of the upper arm and is the connection between the upper and lower arm. Located at the end of the lower arm at the location of the hand is the end effector which in some models rotates around the wrist. The end effector is the hand of the robot. It is named an end effector because it is the working part located at the end of the robotic arm. There are two ways to pick up and place objects of the robot arm. One is pre-programmed and the other is remote controlled. In pre-programmed, the rotation movements of the hip, wrist, and hand claw are done through trial and error in the code. The rotation angles are fixed and therefore the locations where to pick up and place objects are determined. On the other hand, in remote control, the rotation movements of the hip, wrist, and hand claw are controlled using a remote control device. The rotation angles are not fixed and therefore the locations where to pick up and place objects are arbitrary. In this example project, I implemented the pre-program. In the future, I will implement remote control using FlySky remote control. These are the parts of the robot arm kit. First, this is the gripper hand or clamp claw made up of aluminum. Next, this is the hip base also made in aluminum. Next, we have the 6 Tower Pro MG996 Servo Motors. Next, this is the shoulder base plate. Next, these are the brackets, composing the brackets, housing, and arm. Next, we have 6 servo bases with screws. Next, we have lots of screws, nuts, bearings, and hex stand of spaces. Next we have the main shop. We have the elbow supports. Next we have the bearing and bearing supports. These are the codes that control the robot arm by the Arduino Mega Microcontroller. Using the Servo class library, I instantiated five objects namely hand claw, 
right shoulder, left shoulder, hip, and wrist. I declared constant variables and assigned digital pins of the Arduino Mega connected to the servo motors. I defined functions to close and open the hand claw. I defined functions to rotate the hip. I defined functions to rotate the wrist. The function setup where I attach the digital pins to the servo motor objects, also I position the wrist and the shoulder. I define the function pick up and place to pre-program to pick up and place movements of the robot arm. The function loop repeatedly accepts keyboard commands to start the pickup and place and stop. Ladies and gentlemen, let us run and test. That ends our simple project for today. I hope you are inspired in my class. Thank you for watching. God bless us.